Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Nextcloud on CosOS using Big Bear CosOS third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So we're going to be installing Nextcloud today. It makes to where you can uh, store your files on it and uh, a lot of other features. The files, talk, and gr groupware, office. And um, if you go up here to files and sync, uh, you can say your files over here and it's got a nice UI, ultimate security, e e easy access anywhere, uh, deep integration, enterprise uh, fi file sync and share workflow management and um, if you go into this and next I'll talk it has a lot of features so that's what will be installed today so now I'm gonna start on Big Bear Cost OS there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this and um, th this is a third-party app store uh, that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community um, it has a lot of apps in it and um, this is the one that we'll be installing today. I did make a video on how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS, but I'm going to go over in this video as well. The custom app store is only supported on 0.4.4 or newer of Cost OS. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to go to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get it set up. So I'm going to be starting on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to the search box and I'm going to type Nextcloud. So I'm going to go into uh, Nextcloud and then Docker Repose. So the Cost OS app name is going to be called Big Bear Nextcloud. I'm going to set services and then the first service underneath services is called Nextcloud. The container name is going to be called Nextcloud. The image is coming off Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. And this is the Docker image tag. And then restart and let's stop. So that means if you stop it for no reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then map port is 7580. That's on the host side. And then on the container side is 80. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then it's going to mount the directory of data, app data, app ID, and then HTML on the host side. And, uh, and the dynamic variable is gotten from the Big Bear Next Cloud up here. And then on the container side is var www HTML. And so don't ch change the container side. As same goes with the port. Okay, now I'm going to set some environment variables. So Postgres host is set to the service name of DB uh, NetCloud. The Redis host is set to the service name of the Redis NetCloud, uh, the container name. And then Postgres pa password is cost OS. Postgres user is cost OS. And then po Postgres DB is NetCloud. And then the next slot admin user is cost OS. Next slot admin password is cost OS. The trusted proxies overwrite uh, pro protocol and then PHP upload a limit is set. So specify the dependencies. So DB and next cloud and then Redis next cloud is dependent. So now uh, it's going to put this uh, service in a uh, network. It's called a ne next cloud network. It's defined down the bottom. And then now I'm going to set some cost of specific information to explain the volumes, environments, and the ports. So now I'm going to come down to the DB NextCloud service. And the container name is going to be called DB NextCloud. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default uh, because there's no year before this. It's Postgres. And then this is the Docker image tag. So restart on failure. So that means if it fails, it will try to restart. 
but if it if you stop it or any other reason, it will not try to restart. And then volumes, data, app, app data, and then dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name up there. And then pagey data is on the host side. And then on the container side, it's var, lib, uh, postgresql, and then da data. This is on the container side. And then the environment variables are set. So postgres password is cost OS. Postgres user is cost OS. Postgres DB is NetCloud. And then it's going to be set in a NextCloud network. Uh, and then now I'm going to set some cost of specific information to explain the volumes and the environments. Now I'm going to come down to the next service. So Redis NextCloud. Um, this is the container name of Redis NextCloud. And then the, the, the user. And then the image. Uh, this is coming off of Docker Hub by default. And it's Redis. And then this is the Docker image tag. The restart uh, policy is on is on failure. So um, the volumes are set. So data, app data, dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name up there, and then Redis. And this is on the host. The left side is on the host. The right side is on the container. That's data. And then that's going to put into the network as well. So next slide network. And then some cost has specific information to explain the volumes and the ports. And then I'm going to come down here and uh, initialize the, um, I put the ser service on there for the Chrome. So the image is coming off of Docker Hub by default. And then this is the do uh, Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then restart policy is on failure. And then volumes are data, app data, dynamic variable, app ID. And then that, that's gotten from the name up there. And then HTML. So this is on the host side. And then this is on the container side, var www HTML. And then the entry point is changed to the chrome.sh. And then um, it depends on is D a DB next cloud and Redis next cloud. The networks are set. Uh, this is set in the network of next cloud net network. And then cost of specific information to explain the var www and then a HTML. So it explains the uh, volume up here to cost OS. And then now the uh, net, uh, network de definition. So next cloud network and it's a local uh, bridge. So uh, the, uh, the, uh, the network is a bridge network. And then cost OS specific information. So the architectures that the Docker image supports up there is AMD 64 and ARM 64. And then, um, yeah, this uh, this Docker image right here. And then um, the main is set to the next cloud service name up here, which is up here, all the way up on the top, the first one that we explained. And um, description for the app store, the tagline, the developer, and then the author of the Docker and Pose right here. And then the icon being used, the thumbnail, and the screenshots, the title of NextCloud, and then ca category, so you can find all the Bieber CosOS apps uh, easily in the uh, CosOS App Store. And then the port map is 7580, and that's going to uh, the top one underneath ser services, a NextCloud, and then the ports are mapped. So 7580 is on the host, and 80 on the container. So that tells the web UI that it's going to go to this port. And then tips, uh, I would recommend you reading the uh, NetCloud installation guide too, uh, if you're installing it without the video. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and get this installed on my Cos OS. So I'm going to start my Cos OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then more apps over here. And then a text input pops out. I'm going to paste in the uh, the URL that we copied, and then I'm going to press Add. Now we have 154 apps, so I'm going to re uh, a refresh, and then go back in the App Store, go to Big Bear Cost OS. So now you can see all the apps in Big Bear Cost OS that are available for install. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, 
let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to install NextCloud on CosOS. So I'm going to go in the App Store, and then I'm going to put in the search box Next. Now I'm going to go for the one that's got Pigbear CosOS in the category down here. So I'm going to go click it, and then Install, and then Next Steps, and then I'm going to continue in background. What this is doing is it's downloading the uh, the Docker images off the registries, getting them extracted, and getting them up with Docker and Pose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So it's installing, and this can take a little bit to install. So now we have NextCloud up and running, and it's ready to go. So now I'm going to go in these top uh, vertical dots right here, and then I'm going to um, I click it. And then now you can open into the web UI. You can set some tips, and you can see a tip already set. But you can come down here at edit button and you can put testing in there and then press save. Now it's going to reload the container in the background and say next cloud is okay now. Um, so you can go into settings and you can edit some of the, uh, of the, of the Docker containers. You can also go up here to terminal logs. You can go in the terminal uh, of the container and then you can see the logs right here. Great for debugging. And you can exit out of there and you can export the Docker and pose right here. So I'm going to exit out of it. You can check for updates for the current tag that's on. And then um, you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So you can open it from here or you can open it from here. So now if you notice that uh, the access through untrusted domain, so we're going to fix that by running a Big Bear script. So now we're going to start on Big Bear scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to Casa OS, add LEN IP to Nextcloud config. And then I'm going to go into run.sh. So I'm going to start with bin bash, and then I'm going to store the LEN IP address in the variable right here. And then I'm going to back up the original config.php file. And then I'm going to add the alien IP to the config.php file right here. The one that I got from here. And then I'm going to store the compose file uh, 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 path uh, in this uh, a variable. And then I'm going to use the CosOS CLI app management apply to apply the changes. And then this will redeploy the cont container. So I'm going to go backwards. And then I'm going to go to this run command right here. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to SSH into my cost OS and run the script. So now I'm going to be in my cost OS. And I'm going to paste in the script. And then I'm going to press return or enter. Now the compose app is being applied and changes asynchronously. So it should be good to go now. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So uh, you can go up here to the right vertical dots, go to settings. And then if you switch to Nextcloud, you can see the Nextcloud admin password and the Nextcloud admin user. We'll need to use these two to sign in. So I'm going to uh, go into the UI now. And then I'm going to type Casa OS and then Casa OS log in. So now we are logged in. Um, so privacy, productivity, and then I'm going to say uh, exit out of this. So you can see some recommended files. Then there we go. You have all these files that you can look at. And then um, you can um, go and see the dashboard, the files, the photos. If you go into a photo right here, you can see it. You can also uh, go into the activity right here. You can see all that activity. You can see uh, the photos right here. Then you can go into one, then you can switch between them. And you can uh, sort by photos. Uh, you can filter by photos and then videos, albums, collaborative 
albums and then people. Um, you can go up here to search and then it's out of there. You can see your no notifications. You can see your contacts, um, your status, appearance, uh, personal settings, administrative settings, and then apps. And you can go into there and you can see all the apps. You can see a users and then about again, and then help. You can go in the administration set, uh, settings and go through these and, ch and change things. You can get tips on how to make it more secure. And um, you can just go through these. So that's how to get Nextcloud running on Cos OS using Big Bird Cos OS. So I just went over step by step on getting Nextcloud running on Cos OS using Big Bird Cos OS, the third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video sessions or, or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.